big chunky knives don't always have a place in your EDC. That's where a gentleman's EDC kind of comes in. You have something slimmer, sleeker. It can go in and out of different pants like khakis, suit pants, or even in a breast pocket. Something a little bit nicer, a little bit classier. So let's go over my five favorite gentlemen's EDCs. My name is Brad and uh, welcome back to Scream and Pirate EDC. Today, we're gonna be talking about uh, some really nice, slim, sleek looking knives. Some of them are more expensive, some are not. And you don't always have to spend a ton of money in order to get a nice, slim, sleek knife as it were. So let's go ahead and dive into those knives. We're gonna head top down, but I'm gonna let you know, first and foremost, the Kinison is killer, absolutely killer, love it. And I believe these are available right now. Also, if you just want the quick and dirty, um, Jack Wolf slip joints, always a fan favorite, especially one of mine. We're gonna check out the other knives I have on the list. All right, so we are top down with my five favorite gentleman carry knives. Now, I will let you know if these are currently available or not. Some are not, or some are a little bit sparse, but I will have a pop-up if they are not available. So first and foremost, I think the one that is the easiest and you can just go out and you can grab one and there's a ton of variations is going to be a slip joint from Jack Wolf Knives. Now, this is the one that is dropping in about a week. This is the Little Bro Jack. I really do like a good clip point. He also does a couple of warnies slash sheep's foot that I am a big fan of, but even in the little one, it has a good fit in a large glove. It does come with a leather slip, so it is nice and easy to carry. I think slip joints are a fantastic gentleman's carries and Jack Wolf Knives does them the best. So that is my number one in no particular order, but my first one up for best gentleman's knife. Now, next up, one that's gonna be a little bit harder to find, but there are so many variations. You can get production ones, you can get custom ones, is going to be a front flipper from Pena. Pena has some fantastic front flippers. I think they really have that gentleman sleek aesthetic. This is a custom one, and I believe this is the Calibero, I believe. And I picked this up from Blade Show Texas, but you don't have to get a custom. I like the custom because of the micarta, but he does a ton of production ones in different sizes and different uh, materials. But this one really speaks to me as far as a gentleman's carry. After that, my number three, one that is kind of venerable and everybody knows is going to be the small Sabenza. Now this one has been customized for me, but the small Sabenza is just an excellent gentleman's carries knife. It is slim. It is a little bit smaller and really non-threatening, which is easy to kind of take out at events and kind of open something up if you need to cut a thread, etc. Now I'm going to have a few honorable mentions, but let me go ahead and do number four. I think that one of the best ones and one of the entry level ones you can get is going to be a Spyderco Dragonfly. Now this is one is in carbon fiber, it's around $200. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but even if you get one in like the black plastic, really nice, really slim wire deep carry clip, really nice, smaller gentleman's carry. You can fit in a suit very easily, very non-threatening. Now my, I say these were my five, but my, my one through four, but this is kind of my number one and you can still get these. It is going to be the Fido from Keenison. Now, this is just an epitome of gentlemen's for me because I can be back here, I can choke up. You have this beautiful hollow grind, so it's super slicey, but just kind of this slim flowing knife, really nice. I love it in the titanium, but if you're looking for something a little more dressed up, they have it in a, car have it in a copper carbon fiber. And yeah, it's just beautiful. It's sexy. I think you can still get these. I know that they still have some. Ooh, I do not want to put that up on the plaque, guys. You would never be able to see it again. So let me go ahead and set this down here. So these are my top five gentleman carries knives. Now I'm gonna have some two honorable mentions that I think if you don't like any of these, these two are also phenomenal. Now, these are a little bit harder to get your hands on, but they're starting to go out to more dealers. This is going to be a Three Rivers Manufacturing Atom. Now, I have these in aftermarket scales that I got from Mitch Anderson, I believe it is. Match Anderson, I do apologize, guys. But this is a little bit bigger. If you want something a little bit smaller, they do it in the Neutron. Obviously, the Atom's a little bit bigger. Still fantastic gentleman's carry knife. 
And then finally, I feel like you can't have this lineup without having a buck. Now, this is the 501. This is my preferred gentleman's carry on this. This one is a special edition one in an ebony wood, but the 501 is just nice, small, has that lock back, and so it's not going to close on you, and it just looks super classy. So those are my honorable mentions on the side here. These are my top five. Let me know what you think. I really like these for any occasion. I think if you want something the most non-threatening, a slip joint is fantastic, especially from Jack Wolf. If you want something that is just everybody's going to know, especially if you're a knife guy, you got to go with the Chris Reeve. But my personal pick is definitely going to be the Keenison. I feel like this just oozes classy and is really nice for a gentleman's carry. Let me know what you think down below about the gentleman carry top five and what you would pick in yours.